Hello, welcome to Valerian Bay. I'm Suzanne and I'm so pleased that you're here today. So today we're going to talk about, um, you've got, you've ticked the boxes for what you wanted in life. You've got your, you might not even have all of this, but you're doing pretty good. So you've got your house, your car, your partner, maybe even some children. Um, you've got all those things that you want and yet somehow something still doesn't feel right or you still don't feel quite as happy as you'd like to. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about why that is and how you can actually resolve that. So um, keep watching and remember to subscribe and tick the little bell icon so you don't miss anything because there's going to be loads of videos to help you through life to be more in alignment with the true essence of who you are. So let's start talking about this then. So you've done, you've done, most people would say you've done, you've done well, you've been successful in life. Um, and it all looks good on the surface. So you've got everything that you want. And what a lot of this comes down to then is have you actually got everything that you need? So we can start to give a lot of our time and energy and effort to other people to making sure that everything is just as it should be without actually addressing what do we actually need so have a little check in with yourself and see if are you getting enough downtime are you getting enough relaxation is there something that you want to be doing in life that you're not doing to please other people are you giving all your time and energy to other people to try and be um, a good person and to be decent and to be nice? Um, are you giving too much energy out there without putting enough back into you? Mm. A lot of us do this and then a lot of us find that we're um, not quite as happy as we want to be. The other question is, are you squashing your negative emotions too much because you don't want to upset the perception well you don't want to upset anybody else in your in your world so how do we resolve uh, that well we start to consider in the past potentially during childhood were you in a position at all where there was tension in the environment that you lived in um so potentially you tried to be really good so that you didn't upset anybody any further so maybe your mom or your dad or your guardians were under some sort of pressure and you recognized that so you tried to suppress your needs and requirements at that point in an effort to be kind to your family or the people that you were living with so that you could um keep a happier environment so many of us did it and the activities or situations going on in your household might not have been that bad as a as an adult looking back um, however children are very sensitive and can pick up on different things and if you are a sensitive person you will have probably picked up on quite a lot from an early age so um the question is now, how do we get around that? So I'd like to set the intention at this point to only deal with right now what um, is safe and comfortable for you to do so. So I don't want you to bring up anything that's too deep because you should work with somebody one to one for anything of that nature. Um, but a little hint and tip that we're going to use is the emotional stress relief strategy. So you cross these two fingers, you're going to use your thumb and these two fingers uh, fingers, and you're going to put them in alignment with your pupils so that your fingers are on your forehead. Now the reason that we do that is because this is the progressive part of your brain and if we bring the energy forward to the front it helps to resolve problems. If you wish to do so what we're then going to do is take a few minutes to, to close our eyes and breathe deeply and just go back to a point when you were a child and you're going to have your fingers on your forehead like this and you're going to imagine as an adult now going back to give your child self 
loads and loads and loads of love and support and to give them whatever they needed in this scenario where they were trying to be really good and I want you to give that child permission while having your fingers on your forehead um, and taking time to relax and to breathe into that I want to give yourself permission the child aspect of you the permission to do whatever they actually wanted to do at that point in time so maybe they might have been feeling quite angry about what was going on or wanted to demand a certain amount of attention for themselves because if they were having an emotion that they were suppressing that you were suppressing at that age I want you to be willing to allow the child aspect of you imagine them showing that they the emotions that they felt at that time and you are there with them as an adult supporting that behavior and keep your fingers on your forehead and stay in that place until it's nice and it feels much happier and you've been able to let what you want to express out so just pause this video if you need to Pause this video and stay in that place with your fingers on your forehead until it feels better. And pick a light scenario that's not too um, deep or traumatic. And just, just allow the child version of you, just imagine them doing whatever they needed to do at that point. By doing that, you're changing certain neuro pathways in your brain that allows you to suddenly matter in life that allows you to um, have emotion that you need to have that allows you to put your well-being and needs first as much as anybody else's and that will start to help you actually put that into place in real life as an adult in healthy and um, responsible ways so that you can start to put healthy boundaries in you can start to say no if you need to when you're feeling overtired or when you're feeling like you need a little bit of a break you can start to decide to take activities that are going to make you feel um, more alive at the soul level so just make that a plan that you are going to support that child aspect that is still within you now um, that inner child and you're going to take little actions maybe once a week to start off with or each day just to go what would that inner child want and then um, say yes to that inner child as you're going through your life but obviously you present it now um, as a responsible adult so that if you need a little bit of time to rest take a little bit of time to rest without feeling guilty because you are as important as everybody else if somebody is asking you to do something for them and you haven't got the space and time to do it or the well of energy that you have is running rather low um, you know put in something where you just say I can't do that right now um, and maybe give them a date where you can do it at a later date so it's about managing and controlling more of what you need in life rather than what you want so this is just some tips and hints just to help you um, to have a better life and to be more in alignment with who you are at a soul um, and true essence um, space if you want to work with me one-to-one -one, feel free to go on my website which is www.valerianbay.co.uk it doesn't matter where you are in the world we can work over video call just go on to the get in touch page uh, fill in the contact form and that will come through to me uh, and um, have a wonderful day sending all my love thank you for watching take care goodbye